Hello all, in today's video we are going to learn about the noisy channel protocols of data link layer. In the previous video we have learnt about the noiseless channel protocols simplex and stop and wait and also a noisy channel protocol called stop and wait ARQ. ARQ is automatic repeat request which is nothing but frame retransmission. We are learning these two protocols together, go back in and selective repeat as they are also called as sliding window protocols. They work on the principle of a sliding window. Go back in ARQ protocol also makes use of sequence numbers that are modulo 2 as the stop and wait protocol stop and wait ARQ protocol was using modulo 2. Here also the range of sequence numbers is from 0 to 2 power m minus 1 where if the value of m is equals to 2 I can have 0 to 2 power 2 4 minus 1 that is 0 to 3 that means I can have the sequence numbers ranging from 0 to 3 like 0 1 2, 3 and as I told you the sequence numbers will wrap around so I can have again frames can be numbered using the sequence number 0, 1, 2, 3 again they can wrap around 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. This is about uh, the sequence numbers. Now as I told you that the go back in protocol and selective repeat they work on a principle called a sliding window. What is sliding window? A sender will have a window, the receiver will have a window. What does that window consist of? The window consists of some frames. In go back in ARQ, the size of the sender window is an imaginary box with a size of 2 power m minus 1 frames in the window. That means if m is equals to 3, I will have 2 power 2 that is 4 minus 1 3 frames in the window 0 1 2 this is my window and the size of the receiver window is always 1 ok now what happens is the, as the name says the window slides sliding window whenever we send a frame if I am sending frame 0 the window will slide and it will be pointing to 1 then the window will slide and will be pointing to 2 ok now you can see the send window but the send window can slide one or more slots when a valid acknowledgement arrives it means that a sender can send more than one frame before an acknowledgement arrives frame 1 is sent frame 2 is sent frame 3 is sent and now it gets an acknowledgement called as 4 now this acknowledgement is called as cumulative acknowledgement because this, cumul this acknowledgement tells that the three frames have been successfully received and acknowledged. Now it is expecting the frame number 4. This is called as cumulative acknowledgement. That means the window can slide three positions because three frames have been sent. You see here how is the send window. This is you just ignore this. Ignore all this for a while. See what is the size of the window 0 to 14. How, how much should be the size of the window? The size of the window should be 2 power m minus 1. For example, I have taken a 4 bit sequence number. So I will have 2 power 4 that is 16 minus 1. That is 15 will be the size of my window. I can have 15 frames in my window ranging from 0 to 14. Hope you all understood the numbering from 0 to 14. How we got the size of the window as 0 to 14. I have the pointers SF which is a send window for pointing to the first outstanding frame. SN is a send window next to frames that has to be sent but they are not readily available. They have to come from the upper layer which is the upper layer from the network layer. These frames are ready to be sent but haven't been sent. Now you see how long is the grey part is your window. The window is this much. Now what happens you can see frame 0 is being sent, frame 1 is being sent frame 2 is being sent. So now the window can slide by these positions and now the window will SF will point to 3. So the send window can slide two or more slots at a time before receiving an acknowledgement. What, what about the receiver window? The receiver window is always 1. The sliding occurs one slot at a time. You can see here 
the receiver rn is a receive window where next frame it is expecting it is expecting 3 see the size of the window it's only one those there are so many frames to be received but the receiver window size will be always one how many ever you send i will take one by one okay so you, you and whatever you are expecting that you will take only that so i am expecting 3 after I receive 3 successfully, my window will slide by 1 position and now Rn will be equals to 4, meaning that I am waiting for the frame number 4. Okay, now let me tell you why is go back in ARQ named as go back N. Now, see here, I have a sender and a receiver. As I told you that a sender can send number of frames and I can have a cumulative acknowledgement for it. So, I have sent frame 1. Frame 1 is received successfully. I sent frame 2. I sent frame 3. I sent frame 4. I have also sent frame 5. But due to some problem, frame 2 was lost. Receiver was expecting frame 1. It got it. But now what is receiver expecting? Receiver has slided its window by one position. It is expecting 2. Then after 2, it is expecting 3. After that 4. After that 5. Frame 2 is lost. What has come? 3 has come. But what is it expecting? 2. So what will happen? It will not accept 3. It will discard it. Frame 4 arrives. It will not accept because it is expecting 2. Frame 5 arrives. It will not accept. It, is, it will discard it because it is expecting the frame 2. So in meantime what happens is the timer for frame 2. That means acknowledgement has, hasn't come. No cumulative acknowledgement or no individual acknowledgement has come. The timer at the sender side expires. So what will happen? It will go for a retransmission. ARQ. So what it does now? Now it will send the frame number 2. Okay, and now it will accept it and it will slide the window by one position. So now Rn will point to 3. Now what has to be done? Do I need to again send frame 3 and 4 and 5? Yes, I have to go back n number of to the nth number that is 2. I have to send 2 which I have already sent. Then I have to again send 3, 4 and 5. So what is happening? What is the main disadvantage of go back in ARQ? That whenever there is a loss, loss of a frame and you are sending many frames at a time waiting for a cumulative acknowledgement, you are sending more frames and if there is a problem, you have to again resend all the frames that were sent. That is the main problem of go back in ARQ. And one another thing is that in go back in ARQ, the size of the send window must be always less than the size of the send window must be always less than 2 power m. The size of the re receiver should be always 1. Let us see why. Now you see here, take an example here. SF is the frame that has to be sent. SN is the next one to be sent. Okay, SF is 0. Frame 0 is sent. What see the size of the window here? The size of the window is 3 here. Why it might be 3? Because it is 2 power m minus 1. 2 power 4 minus 1 is 3. So the size of the window is 3. So what should be the size of the window? It is always 1. It has sent frame 0. It received frame 0. Okay, but the acknowledgement for this frame was lost. Then what happens? Before the acknowledgement has arrived only because this is go back and ARQ, you can have multiple frames in transit before receiving an acknowledgement. I will send frame 1 also. Frame 1 has been received as you can see but the acknowledgement for it was lost. Okay, then what happens? It has sent frame 2. It has received frame 2. Its acknowledgement has also been lost. Okay, so what happens? In meantime, because no acknowledgement has come, the timer for frame 0 has been expired. So automatic repeat request. Sender will send the frame 0 again. What is received? But already it is being received. It has already been received. 0 is received, 1 is received, 2 is received. Again you are sending frame 0. It's a duplicate. I, the receiver will not accept it because the window has slided and now it is expecting 3. So what it will do? It, will it take frame 0? It will not take frame 0 because it has already received it. Now it is expecting 3. So it will correctly discard the frame. Okay? This is possible, this correct thing is happening only because the size of the window is less than 2 power m. 2 power m is 2 power 2, that is 4 and my size of the window you can see is 3. But if I will not follow this, if I will keep the window size equal to 2 power m, 2 power m is how much? 4. What is the size of the window? See the grey portion, the grey portion is 4. 
so what will happen in this case let us see sent to frame 0 received acknowledgement lost sent to frame 1 received acknowledgement lost sent to frame 2 received acknowledgement lost okay sent to frame 3 received but the acknowledgement was lost in the meantime the timer for frame 0 has timed out so the frame 0 has been sent again now you see what has happened 0 1 2 3 has approached because the sequence numbers will wrap around it is now expecting a frame number with 0 and you are also retransmitting the frame 0 again so what will happen it will erroneously accept it because the sequence numbers are map matching so what why is this pro problem happening because you have made the window size to be equals to 2 power m where it should be always less than 2 power m so this is your go back in arq protocol now coming on to the selective repeat arq what was the problem with go back in arq if you are sending frame 1 it is lost and you have already sent 2 3 4 but what receiver is expecting frame 1 it will not accept all these frames you have to go back and send the frames from the beginning this is the problem with go back in what is the disadvantage of go back in high bandwidth you require high bandwidth or there will be a bandwidth loss due to these retransmissions okay so what we do we go for a selective repeat instead of resending 2 3 4 again whatever was lost i will selectively retransmit the frame that is actually lost instead of sending all of them again that is the idea of selective repeat to implement this idea the sender window and receiver window are of the same size and they are almost one half of 2 power m for example the value of m is 4 bits so i will have 16 is the size of my window 2 power m boleto it will be 16 so the size of the sender window will be 8 bits the size of the receiver window will be 8 bits so here what is happening is we are not restricting the size of the receiver window to be only one i can have eight in the as a receiver window also if it is two power two four okay what will be the size of the window here it will be two and it here it will be two okay so now let us see you can see here the send window okay eight as i told you just now eight likewise the size of the receiver window is also eight you can see the size of the receiver window 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have equally divided the send window and the receiver window on the window size now you can see the frames that are being colored are already received 4 7 9 but 3 5 6 8 10 are not received so i can selectively repeat them instead of sending all these again i can selectively repeat it how will it happen take this example as I told you that uh, the size of the window should be always two uh, equals to or should be less than 2 power minus 1 m minus 1 in case of uh, uh, selective repeat it should window size should never be greater than 2 power m minus 1 the same problem will happen that we have seen in go back in ARQ now let us understand now let us understand this uh, selective repeat protocol see here the size of the window here is the gray portion 0 1 2 3 4 is the size of the sender window likewise 4 is the size of the receiver window also so what happens here is uh, i will send the frame 0 it is being successfully received so the window will slide one position now the window will become 1 2 3 4 it will incorporate this also now because it has slided size is 4 okay then it will send an acknowledgement for uh, the frame uh, acknowledgement 1 means that it has received frame 0 now it is expecting the frame 1 okay now what will happen size of the window is been 1 2 3 4 again here also it is 4 bits it will send frame 1 what will happen frame 1 is lost okay then what it did it has sent frame 2 it has successfully received but what is it expecting it is expecting 1 so what it does will it reject no it will not reject what it does is it will take frame 2 it will also take frame 2 it will take frame 3 okay but rather it will send a negative acknowledgement here we are using a concept called as negative acknowledgement for the selected frame that has not been received negative acknowledgement for 1 is being sent meaning that i did not receive uh, the frame 1 so what and what i do because i have a window I have a bigger window I can receive the frame number 2 and 3 I will not discard it 
okay so that there is no need of retransmitting these frames again this is the advantage or this is the best policy of uh, sliding window protocol that is selective repeat this is the most optimized solution among all the data link layer protocols selective repeat is the best one so what i do is because it uses less bandwidth no uh, more tran uh, more tra uh, retransmissions happen here so what will happen i got a negative acknowledgement frame for frame 1 so what the sender will do the timer also has expired here for timer for uh, the frame 1 so it will now resend the you can see here it is resending the frame 1 here and it will accept the frame 1 you can see 2 3 have come already 1 has come now now i am expecting 4 and then the window will slide for more positions so this is about your selective repeat arq in go back in arq we'll have to go for sending all the frames again whereas in selective repeat we need to only retransmit the frame that has been lost so this is this is about your data link layer protocols both noiseless channel and noisy channel thank you